Well, it's normally not that much long of a delay. All right, today we're gonna to be cold starting a GM ladder chassis, uh, 1998 to be exact. I'm gonna double. Ch okay, that's. What auxiliary batteries? I don't know what you're talking about. They flatlined. So we have no cabin batteries. We should have chassis batteries. So if the chassis batteries aren't able to crank it over, we're going to have to plug this in because this is not going to start. Uh, not at all. Because there is an auxiliary start feature that can... It doesn't even work because there's nothing there. So. Oh, god damn. All right, let's do this. Oh! Oh, we're going to have to plug in. Damn! That really sucks, though. Well, I should have understood that, and I will be back. Damn. That's how it should come out. Like, it was, like, struggling earlier. Nice. I had to plug it in, so hopefully we'll have no problem with this. I want it to sit up and just kind of work itself a little. In the meantime, I got some stuff I got to do, so thank you all for watching. All right, we're plugged in here. So uh, let's turn off any of these appliances. This thing has a heat pump on it, so this will keep us toasty while we're trying to get this thing to start. Um, it is plugged into AC. There is an inverter. Our converter on this to make uh, right. If I remember correctly, it's probably taking a bit of strain because of the uh, the tank heater should have been on. Obviously not anymore. I want to see something here? Oh yeah, see that's brighter. It's more volts when it's disconnected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it so it's powered on AC, and we're gonna just go ahead here and flip the auxiliary start. And we should have enough juice plugged in. It should jump itself. Let's click the auxiliary start. Well, that's not good. Absolutely no power whatsoever. Okay. Probably not going to get much of a jump difference here. That should be enough. When in doubt, use your foot to crank it out, I guess. Oh! No. We're gonna have to wait for the main battery to come up a little bit. Or the auxiliary batteries. It, it's just too low to start. It's improbable. It's not gonna happen. So, we'll give the auxiliary batteries some time. Kind of get themselves in order. And hopefully we can crank this over. But I, in all in all, we're just gonna have to wait. That really does suck, though. It, it ran really low. La it went to the point where there's nothing left. Zippo. It's very bad, and I'm kind of shocked that I didn't go ahead and uh, start it earlier. This thing's been disconnected for too long, so we're going to have to even wait even longer. This is ridiculous, man. All right, I'll let it sit for a little longer. Let's try to give it some all. Yeah, there we go. Not a problem. All right, now what it's going to do is it's going to... It's running solely off the alternator right now. There is absolutely nothing and any of the batteries and it just clicked the relay to the to the uh, chat to the uh, coach batteries which are currently being maintained so right now the batteries the alternator shouldn't be too overworked oh, look at that it froze up the mirrors so you actually get to try using the heated mirror option today let's see how well this works this thing smokes like a freaking I don't even know what the hell it's, it's terrible but uh, hopefully we should warm this place up because this is um you know, I smell exhaust leak. That's CO coming in here. We have an exhaust leak. It's not smoking at the back. Well. Go out and see what it's running like. 